Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Having a bit of tea. Iced tea. Of course it's sweet iced tea. Um, so wrapped up on that 25. Um, that motor has a lot of issues. Doesn't shift really smooth and stuff like that, and that's because the motor mounts, they're not broke, but they're just wore out. So the whole power head kind of shakes around, and that'll cause that hard shifting and stuff. But um, it, it's a really hard worked motor anyway. Um, but it seems to be cool and fine, but we put a new water pump impeller in there anyway, because the customer requested that I do that. So I did it, did that, did that. So, want to say a big hello and welcome to all you new subs. I hope you join us here. We have a good bunch of outboard fun up in here. So, I got another victim. Bring me a victim. I have one. Um, I will show you that it, it's a cutie. It's a little cutie. I'm going to show you. Okay, here's the little cutie in question. Um, let's see what we're getting. Mm. All right, so he started at <laughs> some of the carb parts. Boy, this engine it's got a lot of compression to it, but it's well. He said it would run, start, and die, and uh, I can kind of show you what what I'm dealing with. It's one of the old plastic tops, carbies, and this is a true garbage raider. So he took the top off of that 
and just looking at it, it's pretty gunky. It's a pretty gunky. He took the choke rod off and everything he brought to me, he brought to me in bags or in a zippy bag. All the parts are supposedly in there. But that's what she looks like. And yeah, I'd say he's pulled and did some fraying on that. On that poke cord. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. So. We will just have to see what we got to do. But first thing I'm going to do is get the carburetor off. Set that to the side, being real careful. And it is missing the little washer supposed to be under there. Okay. Now let's finish getting this garbage director off of here. Okay, if you've never done this before, there's numbers right around there. Boop, 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 boop. Above the screw on the bottom of the bowl. And it's one, two, where the heck's the three? Three, no, that's five. Three, one, two, three, four. Five, six. So you're supposed to loosen them in that order so it don't twerk, warp the garbage rater. One, two, three, come on, four, no. Yep, five, six. Now after you do this, I'd say two times backing them out, you're gonna be safe. That one's pretty sticky right there. And sometimes your washers will stick to this bowl She stuck pretty good. There it goes. Okay. Now I'll show you something here. So it's like I said, we got our washers. You see the little hose there? It's broke. Just falling apart. There it is. Yep. So. We got to get a little house. See, there's the other end of the broken hose. It goes from this little nipple down inside here and it goes to there and it's broke did it did okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run this in the ultrasonic cleaner let's get the rest of my parts and pieces to this Ooh, old garbage raider out of here and get them apart let me move all this piece of the tie gone I want that getting back in there. This is a critical part. That gasket is a critical part. Um, there's my knob of the bobs. This is my choke hold down. I see the correct screws for the carburetor top, those two, the washers, and the rest are the silencer screws. So it's all there, but these are the pieces that I want to get in the cleaner. 
These right here, I just throw them in, just like that. Boom, throw them in. Choke, you want to hold your needle, give it a little shake, make sure it ain't damaged in any way, that's fine. You got passages. Throw it in. You got passages. Throw it in. Okay. I'm going to turn some heat on my ultrasonic cleaner. Woo! You OMC guys are probably going to beat me up. The manual. Says. Specifically. Do not. Heat up. The carburetor body. It says it in there. I don't heat them much. Just a little. I just warm it up, basically. Because aluminum expands at the rate of three times faster than steel. And when you go to throw in these plastic pieces in there, you really got to watch it. Because they will warp. Um, especially that top. So the top, I'm just going to buzz it. The water won't even be hot enough uh, to do anything before I pull that plastic top. I just want to buzz them passages in there a little bit and then get that out. But uh, to put a little bit of warmth to the, to the water, to the cleaning solution and all, does not hurt a thing. That aluminum will expand a little bit. And with the ultrasonic buzzing, if there's any little pieces in there, hopefully that'll shake them out of there. Now what I did on this recoil starter, I just left everything like it was and I put these vice grips, these little baby vice grips. Aren't they cute? I put them on there right like that. You can see this bar and then you clamp the vice grips so it'll stay wound, wound for you. Then you take the old rope off, which I have done, and the manual calls for this rope to be cut at 54 inches. Well, I stand 56 inches, so it's pretty easy for me to do. But if the old cord is all there, you can just measure the old cord. But it's supposed to be 54 four inches, I always add a few inches extra for the knot, tying, da, ba, da, ba, da, that kind of thing. And they have a, basically what you want to do is you're going to tie an, an overhand knot and after you tie the overhand knot, I'm not, I don't think I can show you on the actual starter, okay? But I'm going to make this a little longer so you can see what I'm talking about. So you're going to feed this through and I will show you that. And then you're going to tie the overhand knot. <clears throat> and then you leave a tag in. And you want to go in the direction you want this spring to be pointing at you. So you stick it up through there. See, I'm sticking it up through there, pulling it out. Then you you take off for your glove. You know this, you do that. You take off the glove. Then you tie an overhand knot and leave about an inch tag in, is what they say you're po to do. Not an inch, maybe less than that, quarter inch, half an inch. Something about like that. And what you're going to do is stick that pointy little tag in. I heated that with my torch. And you're going to put that pointy little end in the hole with that, the, that you just fed the... Uh, pull cord up through and you'll probably need a little Phillips screwdriver or something along this this and you poke that that tag in in the hole which I just did and you're not gonna be able to see I don't think but then you pull holding them pliers you give it one of them you know them good ones and then I'll show you what you look like in there. And I drop my punch. Because I'm supposed to drop my punch. See what it does? 
Now everything's sucked down in that hole. And when you put your loops on, that's going to make it lay smooth on the shiv. In theory. Okay, now at this point I'm gently, gently letting the spring suck the string back in. So I just, just let it suck it back in. Whoa. Don't let it get away from you. Do wear eye protection. Okay. So I got most of my string back on the sheave. Tension's getting a lot less. All right, now at this point, I'm gonna take them same little baby vice grips and clamp it on to the end of this rope. Like so. Um, now we gotta, also you see this little tab. It goes in a little hole right here, not to be confused with the bolt hole. So you got the hole for the, the big bolt there, then you've got this little tab hole here for that little tab right there. Yeah. So, uh, oh, where you at? Where you at? There. So we're getting there, we're getting there. We're getting there, we're getting there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to do a little parts sourcing because when this came in here, it had the fisherman's best friend holding it down. Yes, that would be electrical tape. See, we got to have it twisty, twisty. Then I'm going to give you a little tip. You see how this is floppy here? Here's your hack. Take this torch. It's all floppy, and you got to feed it up through that thing. If you'll take this about that much and do that. See how that moves when I do that? And that'll make that really stiff. And it'll help you. Once it cools down, it becomes almost rigid like. And that'll help feed it up through there. That's what I'm doing. I'm feeding. I'm feeding. Then we go up to the back. Look for my mark. My, my mark go. Shoot, burn it off or something. I don't know. But this is really undersized for this application. But you put it through all the little things it says do. Then you pull it back in and stuff it down in the handle. Now we pull some out. Boom. That be done. There. Um, so, let me get the garbage radar out of the... Uh, oh, I found another thing with this engine. Let me show you. The discharge tube. 
is just all cracked so he's been spraying salt water right into the engine yeah I'd say he was spraying water right in that motor yeah all cracked broken even all the way up to there that's it so I uh, got him a new water hose in there and then when I was looking around further I uh, saw that the end of his fuel hose was all cracked and stuff too so I'm going to cut the end of that off. Uh, the, the hose itself looks pretty good. It's just this last quarter inch or so of it. There's a cracks and stuff all in it. Can we have that? There we go. Get that back on there nice so that it ain't all crackly. You remember that little hose that goes on? This little guy that goes right there. And then a hose goes from there to the nipple in there. So here's the old one. This is Tigon hose that has a 1 16th inch inside diameter on it. That's all that is. And they do rot off quite often. Okay, we got that little hose all hooked back up. So that's all good now. And now, put all my stuff away. This is the hose, 1 16th inch inside diameter Tigon fuel hose. We'll repair that for you. Same kind of stuff you use on weed eaters, chainsaws, and that sort of thing. Not good. All right. Vaselinus. I like to put some Vaseline, some Pentrolium Jellionis, you understand us, on these gaskets. Keep them nice and pliable and nice and pretty and yummy. Now, we also, after I run them through the ultrasonic cleaner, I take a little bit of lube, triflo, and whatnot, squirting all the orifices. And after I orifices them with that, air. Little burst of air here and there. Well, it ain't raining outside, but it will rain today some more. It was raining earlier, and it has been raining for about 10 days. About 10 days. Haven't been able to do many much work on my Cody Bastro van. Okay, the choke worky worky choke wiki wiki choke working. Okay, okay. Put the old knobby on there. Now I think we can gosh. We can get her in the tank, I think. I think <laughs>
well, well, well. Let's say my clip will fit. Oh, it did. What is that? Well, it's part of that frayed rope. Now it's leaking there at the clip, so, but I think it filled it full. So, let's pull a choke out. See what we get. First, I'm going to do it slow just to make sure. Boy, what is that? Why is it? Is there a bad spot on that thing? I probably just choke killed it. sure my connection on this squeezy bulb's great. Ram air. Ram air. Ram air. the 
parody yet? Mm Looks like we got this little QD15 squared away. Um, found a few issues in there, nothing major, cracked hoses, that kind of thing, but she's good to go. And uh, the fella that owns this motor, like I said, he dropped it off yesterday, asked me could I have it ready today. And uh, for this fella, absolutely. Absolutely. I tell you why. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why? Because he's a crab fisherman. I like crab. Oh, yeah. I can get it ready for him today. It's ready. Yummy. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I know I went over some very basic things, but I know we got a lot of new subs that may be just joining us here on some good Outboard Fun channel. So, um, I've got a host of other Outboards since the last time. I talked to you guys. I've had several dropped off for repair and so forth. So, got to get them. Um, but, that's going to be a wrap on this vid. And, as always, that is one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.